Jeff Bezos' company says that the world's cheapest form of energy storage is the iron air battery. Well, now the biggest iron air battery in the world is about to be built in the United States. This could set off a chain reaction and completely change the way we look at renewable energy and battery storage. A US power company is building the world's largest iron air battery. It's massive. I am surprised this is happening, but it is. And this is quite an interesting development, I must say. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back everyone else. And just have to say a big thank you to our Patreon supporters, to every single one of you as well who have donated to my GoFundMe campaign for my wife's stage four cancer diagnosis. If you want to know any more about that, if you're new to the channel, then I'll put a link in the description below to our GoFundMe campaign. And the reason I started that was just because the um, the costs for her treatment were around ten thousand dollars per week. Um, so she's done a lot of that treatment now for months. We're heading back to Australia now. The cancer has come down; it's decreased by about fifty percent. So that's that's a good result. It's not what we were hoping for, but we'll keep on trying. American energy storage company Form Energy just announced within the last few days that it will move forward with a 15 megawatt, 1,500 megawatt hour iron air battery system in Georgia, in America, and is backed by the state utility. Form Energy has been developing and commercializing what it describes as a pioneering iron air battery, which is capable of storing electricity for 100 hours at system costs competitive with traditional power plants. It actually sounds amazing. I can see why the state utility is saying, hey, we want one of these. Let's do it. This will open the floodgates. By the way, one, when one person does it or when one company does it, Evanos kind of turns their heads and goes, oh, hang on a minute. That worked. That's assuming that it works, which I think it will. Reneweconomy.com.au says that backed by a raft of private and commercial investors, iron air batteries are, as the name suggests, made from iron one of the most abundant materials on earth. And then one of the key reasons why lithium iron phosphate batteries, which have obviously iron in them, are so affordable because iron is cheap. Using the basic principle of reversible rusting, the battery breathes in oxygen from the air to convert iron metal to rust during the discharge process. And when charging, it uses an electrical current to convert the rust back to iron, breathing out oxygen in the process. Sounds complicated, but it's actually incredibly simple. And it's kind of a bizarre way to think of a battery actually working. We've never really looked at a battery and thought, hey, let's get one material to turn into another and then discharge it to turn it in back into what it was originally. It's very strange, but it works and it works well, and it's actually quite affordable. Form Energy hopes that its battery will help support a reform of the global electricity system to reliably run on 100% low cost renewable energy every day of the year. Now, Form Energy have to be aware of the fact that that's, that's already happening. It's already in play. We're well on the way towards that happening, but this could definitely help that happen faster. So I'm all for an iron air battery sounds quite sustainable as well not needing lithium not needing cobalt not needing nickel you know not needing rare earths really it's quite a good solution announced on monday form energy confirmed that it would continue under a definitive agreement with georgia power the largest electric subsidiary of southern company to deploy a 1500 megawatt hour iron air battery the iron air battery will be deployed as part of Georgia Power's plan to integrate additional cost-effective clean energy into its system while maintaining grid reliability and resiliency. Grid reliability and resiliency is key. It's one of the key reasons that they say that renewables can't work. Batteries and energy stories are too intermittent, won't work, but yeah, well, we've seen that's nonsense by the fact that it does work in places where basically almost the entire grid has run for many, many, many days and weeks on renewables and batteries only. So it can be done. Form Energy expects the battery to begin operations as early as 2026. 
but the project is currently subject to regulatory approvals, which could take about 17 years. Oh, hang on a minute, that's Germany. So the US, maybe 14 years. Now, I'm exaggerating, but unfortunately, approvals are holding up everything in the US right now, in not all states, but most of them. Renewables are being stalled. A lot of renewables that have been announced since the IRA came into place, which was great. Massive investment into things like batteries like this. But unfortunately, a lot of that, like I said, is being held up by permitting. I don't know who does this. I mean, I wish it didn't happen. I wish that things could just get pushed through. It's renewable energy. The world needs it. Come on, for goodness sake. Anyhow, as we continue to build Georgia's clean energy future, battery storage systems play a vital role in how we will continue to serve our customers with clean, reliable energy for decades to come, said the CEO of the company. That's why partnerships with innovators like Form Energy are so important to our long-term strategy. And they're right. I mean, Form Energy is an innovator. Imagine being the first company in the history to deploy a massive lithium battery. This is pretty much what they're doing, just of a different type of battery, which is extremely unique. Now, I'm not saying iron air batteries don't exist already. They do, but not at anywhere near this scale. This is the first mega iron air battery. They said, our customers, including many business and commercial accounts, are increasingly interested in the use of new technologies such as multi-day energy storage, which this is, which is amazing because the normal energy storage is around four hours. This is multi-day. It helps grow renewable energy and enhance reliability, especially as they relocate or grow their operations in Georgia. Form Energy's technology is cutting edge, and we're excited to continue to work with them to serve our customers. So you can see the amount of energy it can produce at once is not that high. That's the challenge here. It can last for days, like 100 hours, right? But it can't actually produce huge amounts of power at once. So what I see is working as the solution here, lithium ion phosphate energy storage, big batteries similar to this, possibly bigger, and batteries like this next to it. So what would happen is, let's say you had a crazy situation like what happened in Texas where there was this unusual snow in winter that happened for weeks. Uh, power goes out, we have problems with power. And of course, I mean, at that time there wasn't much wind and there wasn't much sun. So renewables in Texas, which are a significant part of the grid, they struggled. If you had the lithium iron phosphate battery pack. Now that would be in use for many, many days of the year, probably, you know, 30, 40% of the year, you'd be using that one for intermittent energy generation. But on times like that, you could then use the iron air batteries to give a small amount of power back to the grid, enough for people to keep the lights on or have the heaters on, that kind of thing. The two companies are continuing to evaluate the role that Form Energy's 100-hour iron air battery technology will be able to play in strengthening Georgia's electric grid against normal day-to-day, week-to-week, and season-to-season weather variability, not to mention increasingly common extreme weather events. We have a long-standing partnership and relationship with Southern Company and Georgia Power, they said. This will help us usher in an era of products to cost effectively provide safe, reliable energy to our customers. So are iron air batteries cost effective? They are. I mean, system costs are hard to compare between two different technologies that are so different. But on average, we're looking at not that different in terms of the price compared to current traditional LFP, lithium ion phosphate batteries. Now, they are cheaper than, of course, lithium ternary batteries, the standard lithium batteries as you know them that are powering EVs, or not many EVs, not of course the standard range Teslas, but other cars. They're cheaper than those. But lithium ion phosphate battery costs have come down. They continue to come down based on their energy density. So those are still very competitive with iron air batteries. But iron air batteries, I believe, are a complementary solution to what the grid actually needs. But I could be wrong. Let me know if you see a hole in my argument. Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching.